I'll show you guys some initial things back here. Um, one spam I like to do, actually do a lot is, you know, people like to push off CAD as CTs, and they will actually go to this spot. This is, it looks like a pretty simple spam, but it's actually more powerful than a lot of people think because it could be used at so many times that you could just come over here and know that uh, he's probably pushing. You can just tap it while your team's creeping up, and normally you won't, you're not going to hit a teammate or anything. You'll just shoot next to them. and you could, They could be really close listening. If it hits, they could just swing and kill them. So the way you line this up is first stand over here by the green box. You just keep strafing left, and the second you're out of sight from an actual peak, you'll see these black like marks on the wall up here. See, there's one and then two. You're going to shoot in between both of them. So when I strafe, I'm out of sight. I go in between both of them, and I shoot right here. And that's right on the spot to where he would be pushed up along the box. So that's a really valuable spam. If your team ever has a default strategy where you just work many areas of the map, it's a very good spam to know. I'll come down here to lower B. These aren't too, uh, too special of spams always, but they're good just to have just to have down. When you duck right here, this is just a good spam just to, just to line up with that wall and spam here. And then if you stand up, and you actually can kind of tell where the other wall is. It's just right here where this corner is. Well, a lot of times pe people are peeking on that corner. So when you stand up here, you could actually stand and just shoot right above where that box is. And it's actually a good angle right above where this box corner is to get people posted back there at that crack spotting this. Now, I'm going to actually move up the catwalk a little bit. I just want to show you guys some of the basic spams that you should know for the top of the stairs. When you come up here, a lot of times you're going to do strategies where you're going to throw a bunch of flash grenades and jump out here and try to avoid the snipers back on the ramps. Well, what you'll do with before if you're maybe holding and you don't want to peek this, well, say they already know you're here and maybe you heard an op taking a sniper shot from back there. You peeked it and he's not spotting anymore. Well, just spamming right here is a very simple and effective spam just to get the guy when he hides. When you're also in this position, a lot of people on counter terrorists you'll notice climb up on these boxes and try to counter spam you. Well, a good spam for that when they're climbing up is to simply be hiding and see this little shadow, this like indent here on the wall. You just shoot simply straight below it and just tap at the bottom where the ground meets the ledge. And that's actually the common spot where people you'll, you'll find will be standing here. Sometimes they'll jump with a flash and they'll be waiting for their teammates' call with a flash out. It's popular in a lot of European teams we play against for them to be standing here and wait to spam us when we start executing. So that's something I always need to know and um, always can be valuable to know, you know any of these little small spams. They could come, come in handy in any situation, so it's really good to know these lineups. Lastly, I'm going to go over to long A and talk about some of the spamming. This, you know, it's a really wide open spot and there's not a lot of places to spam here because there is some stuff that you can use to help you gain info or uh, scare the guys away early by damaging them. The first spam I want to show, which is a real cool initial one, is the first lineup is actually right here. It's right where the box meets the wall, right here, and you'll actually just put the door that has the A spray on it right at the corner with them, and you just tap right about at this height below the A, just right here, and that actually catches guys when they're pushing up to a common spot right here. So it's really good spam to know because you'll catch people off guard when they're pushing just to dink them. And what that'll do is it'll scare them. They might have to push them back. Or, you know, they might have just, if, even if they took a little damage, this kind of stuff makes them not want to play that spot again. They might not push here again, and that might give you an advantage in multiple ways. So I'll slide over here. There's another spam you could do. It's an op spam. You actually have to stand like right here in the shadow, and it's right lined up with the door at this shadow. And you actually have an op. You take a shot right there, and that's actually through the corner. It goes all the way to right there. Now, that's obviously not as useful, but like I said, you need an op kind of to get a lot of damage done. In AK, they're just going to move shortly after you're hitting them. So it doesn't always do that much damage. It's just something good to know. Sliding out into long, um, a lot of people don't always know that you can spam through the floor right here in the big pit. It's not too much. To, it's not too special, but people always use it and just try to shoot through the ledge or not at all, but you could actually spam a little bit through the floor here and get them. Um, entering the site, you don't need to know too many more spams. Something I did want to elaborate on a little bit once you take the site, which is good to know, is that you could actually spam through the floor here as well. So if you're ever hiding at top area at the rail, you could shoot through just right here at this angle, because once you're up, 
You can actually shoot through like this into the spawn, and that's good to catch people actually when you're running up. This is all smoked off from your team and whatnot. They're going to be back here throwing flashes, and that just goes down here, and especially if you have cover, if you have people watching the run-up. It's always a good time, like I said. There's always a certain time and place for some spams to come in handy, and knowing these can be valuable at any other time. The last spam I just wanted to show you guys really quick is right here in Goose. I call this Goose, obviously, just says it on the wall, but if you actually aim at the floor right here, you could line it up where a lot of people like to boost or play in this spot watching the catwalk. All you do is stand here at the wall, you just line it up, you aim lower in this green box, you aim probably where this green box is, and that's a nice headshot spot right there. Right there, and that just gets the guy standing in the corner. A lot of people just don't realize you can shoot through the floor, and I think spots like that are more valuable because you'll be, maybe be holding cat, it's a two versus two, you have the bomb planted, well, maybe you just saw a flash come up from spawn. You hide here, but no one has come up yet because your teammate's spotting the ramp. Well, there, you, there's only two spots they're going to be in if they're trying to be productive. It's on those boxes or right there. So you want to either know how to spam that, or you could come right here, and it's just a simple spam. Just shoot through the floor, and it's not really any, any lineup needed. You can just shoot through both these floors and line up. All right, guys. I hope this uh, tip series, or this tip video, rather, was insightful to help you Master your Dust 2 spam. So you can check out more of these videos brought to you by Kingston HyperX on www.myeg.net. See you guys.